and if we equate all the components we can derive a relationship between x1, y1 and z1. Okay, so if I just compare the components okay, just say that, then I've got x1 equals 6 plus 1 lambda or 6 plus lambda and then I also have y1 equals 19 plus 4 lambda so just put that in, 19 plus 4 lambda and finally z1 equals negative 1 minus 2 lambda so negative 1 minus 2 lambda and I'm going to number these equations, we'll need them later as 1, 2 and 3 okay so we've got that far now if I'm to find x1, y1, z1 I can't do it at the moment because I've got the three unknowns x1, y1, z1 but I've got another unknown lambda and if I've got now four unknowns I'm going to need four equations so how do I get this fourth equation well the point is that this point P x1 y1 z1 would satisfy these three equations here wherever P was on the line okay but something else is special about P it's at right angles to the line L1 so in other words this vector OP is going to be perpendicular to this green vector here the direction that the line is going in 1 4 negative 2 and if it's perpendicular we can use the fact that uh, hopefully you've remembered about the dot product some of you might call it the scalar product and that is the scalar product or dot product between two vectors which are perpendicular will always come to zero so I'm going to use that fact I'm going to use the fact then that OP dotted with 1 4 negative 2 is going to be zero so this, this, what we'll do is we'll just put this over here just so I can keep that uh, in view for the moment okay so let's just say but OP the vector OP dotted with the vector up here the direction vector 1 4 negative 2 is going to be 0 so we'll put that as a column vector 1 4 negative 2 is going to equal 0 now we know what OP is O to P would be the vector x1 y1 z1 column vector remember these are coordinates so we'd have to put therefore OP which is x1 just put that there x1 y1 z1 dotted with 1 4 negative 2 1 4 negative 2 that's going to equal 0 okay so therefore if I dot two vectors together hopefully you remember that you just multiply the components together and then add so it'd be x1 times 1 which is x1 plus 4 times y1 4y1 plus negative 2 times z1 so that's minus 2z1 that would equal 0 so I'm going to call that equation number 4 okay so now I have my four equations and four unknowns so what I'm going to do now is substitute 1, 2 and 3 into 4 and that will allow me to find the value of lambda okay so we'll say that we'll just say that uh, sub let's put go there sub 1, 2 and 3 into 4 okay so therefore what we have 
is x1 and x1 was 6 plus lambda so we have 6 plus lambda then we have 4y1 plus 4 times what y1 was and y1 was 19 plus 4 lambda so 19 plus 4 lambda and then minus 2z1 so minus 2 times z1 which was negative 1 minus 2 lambda minus 1 minus 2 lambda and that equals 0 okay so if I clean this up expand it out clean it up 6 plus lambda then we have 4 19's 4 19's are 76 so plus 76 and then 4 lots of 4 lambda 16 lambda then minus 2 times minus 1 that's plus 2 and then minus 2 times minus 2 lambda that's plus 4 lambda equals 0 grouping this up let's see what we got let's bring that up so uh, let's have a look looking at the constants 6 plus 76 that's 88 no it's not it's 82 beg your pardon 6 plus 76 82 and then another 2 84 so we have 84 okay and then adding lambda lambda 16 lambda 17 lambda another 4 that's 21 so that's plus 21 lambda equals 0 so therefore okay so that should be 21 lambda let's put that in there not so good is it okay let's just rub that out clean that up a bit more okay so 84 plus 21 lambda equals 0 21 lambda take 84 from both sides minus 84 divide by 21 gives us lambda equals negative 4 and with this value I can substitute that back into 1 2 and 3 to get x1 y1 z1 so we'll say that we'll sub lambda equals negative 4 into 1 2 and 3 and so that gives us just give it a little bit more room there therefore we have that x1 equals 6 plus lambda which is negative 4 6 and negative 4 is 2 y1 will equal 19 plus 4 times negative 4 that's negative 16 19 minus 16 is 3 and then z1 equals negative 1 minus 2 times minus 4 that would be plus 8 minus 1 plus 8 that would be 7 okay so that's the coordinates of the point P the question wanted the position vector of P and so all I've got to do is just summarize and say that therefore O to P that will give us the position vector equals and we'll write that in I could write it as a column uh, I think really because because we're at the end now and the question was given in nice J's and K's I think I'll go for 2i followed by 3j and then plus 7k okay and if you did that that's worth six marks so put six marks there and well done if you got that one.